This right here is the scale 118 Maisto Ford F-150 Lariat. This, this truck has been out for a little while and it is currently still on sale in two different colors. Uh, kind of a dark reddish and then a light red, which I'm not that fond of. But um, every once in a while you can still find colors like this around for around $30 or so. As this is a premier Maisto edition, it is pretty high quality. It's one of their better ones as far as detail goes. I'm going to demonstrate that now. Now, before I get started, this is a re-review, and I'll probably be deleting the old video um, as uh, following uploading this one, just so uh, we have that clear. Now, this is very similar to that Harley Davidson um, F-150 that I reviewed earlier. In fact, it's based on the exact same vehicle, the exact same frame, it's the same size, width, weight, everything. Now this this truck is very heavy and it's very large. You can, s let's see if I can get a reference point here. I guess my hand, I always use my hand. It's not a very good reference point because hands vary in sizes, but you can see it's a pretty darn big car, especially for a model. And many of you also have noticed that there are some slight quality issues in the wheel. Now if we look at this angle here, you can see that the rear wheel is kind of bowing out. And you don't notice it so much on a hard surface, and that's what I've been telling everyone. When you put it on a rug, like say, this one here, let me just... There we go. You can see that it bows out quite a bit. And it does look kind of bad. But as long as it's on a hard surface, the rubber kind of holds the wheel in place and it doesn't look as bad. So as far as detail goes, this first of all, this license plate is mine. Um, it's decent, although you can see that the front grille, uh, the honeycomb, it's just a piece of plastic, goes, or it's actually metal, but you can't go through it, it's just there. It doesn't look bad, but it's not that great either. The headlight looks pretty good. It has two pegs there. Not that they're very noticeable, though. On a big vehicle like this, you don't notice the tiny imperfections as much. Pretty nice looking wheels. Got a little chrome accenting in the middle. This car does have suspension and um, steering. Steering's pretty good. Has a nice... Uh, two-tone gold that goes all the way around the vehicle. This is a factory defect. Don't really know what happened to that. I know um, the Harley F-150 doesn't have that issue. Pretty decent size bed. All made of plastic. Cargo light. Not painted on, fortunately. Now right there is my license plate. Unusually, the back door actually does open. And we have pretty good detail on the interior. See all the buttons are colored in. has kind of a fake wood grain on the dash. Not that bad. With some um, silver accenting. A little bit of chrome actually, even on the gear shift. It looks pretty nice. The interior is just very well done in general. You can see the seats. Um, pretty nice design, pretty well detailed. It's unusual for my stow to even have uh, those right there. Small details like seat adjustments as well as a uh, little bit more wood grain there a little more silver accenting and the buttons to control the windows and that continues on this side as well very very nicely done especially for, um, for Maisto now this doesn't have carpeting most Maistos don't anyway all of them I should say Four by four. It 
Very large for a logo. Oops. This um, has been, has succumbed to a gravity effect, definitely. Looks pretty good. One of the better ones. Cat's meowing in the background. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way through. It is a piece of plastic, but it's one of the better ones I've seen. All the all the detail is there. It just doesn't go all the way down. But then again, this truck's interior is pretty crammed anyway, so you probably wouldn't see it. If we go underneath, a little dark. That's because it's all black, which is not a problem considering the body body is black. Um, everything is raised from the bottom. Oh, my bad. The drive shaft is actually attached to it as well as the transmission, but other stuff looks decent. You get the rear leaf springs, a steel wheel in the back, chrome exhaust. Does look pretty good. It's got some protection up front. This is a 4x4 model. Not bad. Protection on the transfer case as well. Not bad at all. Pretty aggressive tires as well. Nice to even put some detail on the roof. That's unusual. They have screws in it. Gigantic non scale 118 screws. Alright, so I think I touched on everything here. Uh, one last thing, actually. The paint quality is just okay. Um, I have found with this truck, as well as um, the Harley-Davidson F-150, that the paint is just, it, it's okay, it's not perfect. Up here, especially, there was some scuffing, and since it was on both vehicles, I imagine it's just a common factory defect. I really don't know why. Probably because the truck's so big that it allows the package or the um, the plastic of the package rub on top, and that's problematic. Hopefully they'll fix that at some point. But overall, really impressive vehicle, uh, very well detailed, and I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.